Hello, I'm doing this in order to go over Martha's roles. So Martha's roles is essentially the invoicing to the end customer, right? So just to kind of give a explanation of what's happened so far up to this point, Jamie is in the TP Brands accounting. Um, let me find it. Give me one moment. Uh, WW Prem Floor role, right? She does the sales order to the end customer, maybe it's EC Barton. Um, that's going to create a sales order and then automatically create a purchase order, right? In the sales order, she's going to make sure everything's as accurate as possible. And then she's going to hit email pro forma and uh, um, she's going to create pro forma button first. That create pro forma button is going to create a TPB number. And then after she does that, she's going to have email pro forma. Email pro forma is what's going to be sent to Alice. That will start the process. That will be the end of Jamie's duties for TP Brands worldwide. After that, Catherine duties would kick in. So Catherine is in charge once the shipping advice is received. She updates all the accurate numbers on the original sales order that Jamie created to EC Bar. And she makes sure that the purchase order's numbers are correct. Create. And after she does that, she does, she goes into her um, the duties of the intercompany transactions and she goes to the financial tabs and other transactions and she manages to generate sales orders. Once she does that, she creates a, um, she will pick the specific purchase order that TB Brands Worldwide created to TP Brands Import and the TB Brands Import will pick that purchase order created, a sales order will be created to sell it to TP Brands Worldwide from TP Brands Import and then a purchase order will be created to make it from China. So she send it to, and that will be the one that's used for China. After she does that, she'll save all those. Then she'll have to go and receive the purchase, receive the inventory on the purchase order to China. Once she receives the inventory, now that is owned by TP Brands Import, they can now fulfill it, and the fulfillment would be sent to uh, essentially TP Brands Import fulfilling their sales order to TP Brands worldwide. Right after that is done, she has to go and create the bills in order to pay China. And she has to create the invoice in order to receive money from worldwide at a later date. After that duty, now it is Martha's duty, and her duty is essentially just to finish the purchase order process. Correct. So we're gonna go find the original purchase order we've been working on. Notice that even the TV brands worldwide role. And so this is the one. You're going to recently create it. All right, so this is the one that was just created before. All right, so it is here. So we're ready to fill it. So we're going to hit receive. I'm going to go in here. And we're going to drop the TPB number. I still have it copy and paste. If you didn't have it, you could find it. Here, um, right here, this number you can copy and paste into here. Once you do that, it's for the full 2000. You hit save. That means TP Brands Worldwide officially owns the inventory, right? So let's look at the purchase order. And now you can create the bill, in which this bill would be the one that. Um, TB Brands Worldwide uses to pay TB Brands import. They hit save. All right. Now that we've done that, let's go back to the original purchase order and we find the sales order that's created from. Right. Oh, we have it here. Right. Now we've done that. Um, now that TB Brands Worldwide officially owns the inventory, um, we can hit fulfill. Now we can fulfill our part of it. A test here. See how this. And this uh, number pre-populates because when it was purchased, received, these two items are paired together, so it knows that the lot numbers that this was received on is destined to fulfill this sales order. So it's gonna fulfill it. All right, and now it's been fulfilled, and we can go ahead and hit bill. But I do want to take note that if you don't want to hit it from here, you can hit it on the original sales order as well. And you can just hit bill from here. And this would be the bill. You can say here who we're going to send it to. It's going to be emailed to 
this person, we didn't select the message we wanted to say, sales or dear customer, blah, 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 or we can say, it's, a, it's been a pleasure working for you, whatever floor you want to use, we hit save. Oh, this should be a, we hit save. This would be the invoice that they would see. And just for good measure, you can see. Depending on the settings I have, it'll either be with inside of it. But if you want to update these settings so it's emailed, we can go to. So take note what was sent to me was the purchase order within the email. But if we want it to be sent in such a way that it's it's emailed automatically, we just go to hit, hit the home tab, then we go down here. Home set preferences. Then we go down to transactions and say, hey, we want transactions to be emailed as attachment format. Save. Now let's say, let's go back to the original sales order. And when we hit edit, we're going to turn it off. We're going to see here what it looks like. Instead of before and now, it is in PDF format. I uh, hope this video helps. Please let me know if you have any questions. This is the end of Martha's duties.